So today I decided to build a church guys and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you exactly how to do it too. Roll the intro! Alright so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get started with a little base for our entryway right here. All right, now let's just pillar up a few blocks, like so. And all right, now we're just gonna go across and frame this out for some doors and windows. So here we go. All right, so the door's gonna basically go right there for the little church, and then on the sides, we're going to throw in our windows and to begin with the windows we'll just go ahead and put a block in each corner to start like that let's go do that on the other side too real quick here basically with a church you can't go wrong if you go with a cross shape there we go that's that i'm going to go ahead and just uh clean up this area here for uh our church and just frame it all up All right, so the key difference with this and maybe different tutorials, this is not a precise build. Uh, don't mind the fire, I'm just burning down the little bush that's in my way when I build. Uh, right here, we're just gonna clean up uh, some and build out a little window area. Yeah, so the bushes are burning, don't mind that. Uh, that could even be a God reference, but I don't wanna go there. Uh, so we're just gonna want a pillar two right here. That's gonna be the uh, main part of the window like that and then we're gonna do the same right here and I think I'll want to build one more um, but yeah so I just want to give you an idea here of kind of what I want to build let's just clean this up the most uh, important thing I think is to just have fun and enjoyed building this out so let me go ahead and finish this up right now all right next up I'm gonna just clean up this area so what I'm building here is another doorway to uh, the church if you kind of consider your basic church built right you kind of might have uh, a main side entrance so to speak and then like uh, set of three doors two two to the side uh one one facing north or whatever kind of mimicking a cross almost so that's what we're building here um but but again it's it's minecraft i'm not really an architect so uh don't hold me to any specifics all right It's now time for the roofing. We're just going to go ahead with some dark oak and stair it out. Simple staircase pattern. Just going across like so. Coming back down. And then uh, on the inside we're just going to go right here with the wood. Give it a little bit of an accent. Uh, whoops, wrong button. Let's fix that. Okay, here we go, and then just the upside down stairs. There we go, looking pretty good. Closes up the door nicely uh, once we put in our doors. Or, uh, yeah. Moving forward, let's um, let's see. Let's get our stairs out. We want the stone, of course. Uh, we're gonna accent that. Nothing too fancy though. Just following the frame. Excuse me going uh, staircase upside down uh, like
like that. So one facing up, one facing down, and then uh, coming right back around. There we go. And let's uh, fill that in like that. Looking pretty good so far. Nice little roof. And let's see. Do uh, I do like to use the walls just to kind of add support right there on the edges. Um, obviously not necessary, but uh, it gives it a nice little highlight. Uh, this is an old style church, you know, good masonry involved and such. And so, as you uh, probably have uh, seen, I like to keep it realistic. For the windows, uh, I'm going to try this with uh, a little staircase situation here and uh, do experiment with the windows. Um, I don't know how I like that. Um, you can also do the chisel like this and maybe a window pane that I'm going to try right here. Uh, all can work with the church design. Uh, yeah, something like that. It's not too, too bad. Maybe going all the way down. That one doesn't look good. Uh, but I think with the church, going with a good old-fashioned cross, cross shape is the best. Um, I think old-style churches, you know, at least the one I'm going after right here, maybe let's pretend didn't have glass at the time. I mean, they did have glass from a very long time ago. But uh, this is a small parish church, not one that can uh, afford it <laughs> quite yet, I guess. Uh, how do we want to do this? Uh, we'll go ahead and add a top layer of roof and uh, finish up this little entryway and then get on with the uh, rest of our build. So I like to jump around during my build and here I'm just going to finish up these windows on the side. We're going in uh, a set of three so for the window we're just going to drop um, a set of stairs, one facing up and the other facing down and we're just going to do that here again. And then in the middle I think I'm just going to go ahead and set down a uh, set of walls yeah just like this going one two there we go and i'm just gonna wall the rest of the uh church in like this just to get it all finished up So just to show you what we have so far, going all the way around the building, to finish up, I'm just going to add some more roofing here on this side and on the three windows. Uh, nothing too fancy again, just going with the uh, stepwise stair pattern. There's uh, our third or middle main door here. Um, we have the two doors uh, on the sides there. And so we're just going to finish that up to frame out and, and finish out this build. It's a, really a simple build. And I think, uh, you know, depending on what you're doing with the nearby village, could be fitting uh, a nice little church, um, you know, for your villagers or what have you. I just thought with uh, the current holidays, uh, not to date this too much, but... Uh, Halloween and uh, all all Saints Day and All Souls Day coming up. I thought it was appropriate. Now this is something you could do, but the problem is um, with a too wide, the um, 
stairs will not form uh, to have that kind of a shape like what I'm doing right there. See, this is what happens, and I don't like that. So we're just going to finish up with this and move on to the rest of the roof. Now the roof of course follows a similar pattern but on the inside here you can do a lot of different things. Um, I'm using a mixture of the oak wood here and then to fill in the gaps in between we're just going to use our stone bricks, the, the chiseled and regular kind and the staircase and really you can uh, definitely use creative freedom here and, and liberty to frame it out. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, shape out the edges like so. And then uh, we'll mix in some stairs there just for a little shape. Just so, you know, adding layers, adding depths. These simple builds, really, they're, they're unique in their simplicity offering really just uh, an unparalleled level of detail that you can add that uh, you know is hard to see at first look almost because the build is so simple because we're not building some monolithic structures that allow for a great level of detail so you really have to use your imagination and really fill in the gaps so to speak uh, here I'm kind of experimenting with uh, what I think might fit um, but I, I don't in the end don't really like bringing it in this close because then you'd have to do the same on the other side and uh, that that's not necessarily as fitting uh, it's my mistake there on, on the oak and let's just fill this in it's a simple fill in um, just gonna go ahead with again that mixture of stairs and blocks uh, changing it out as I see fit and I recommend you play around um, definitely as you build your structure to uh, make it fit what you're hoping to get out of this build what you think your villagers might enjoy in a church Alright, here we're going to go with a simple design, just a cross, um, maybe something like that, that looks pretty good uh, for sure I think, I think it's uh, fitting a church and we're going to do the same or similar rather 
Um, no chiseled bricks. Keep misplacing them. Uh, but yeah, something like this. Just something real simple. Again, uh, it's a, kind of a, like a pioneer's church or something. Staking a claim in the land or something. All right, now, no church is complete without its own. Uh, what do I want to call it? Coffin presentation platform? I, I don't know. This is where the coffin would go, uh, you know, for funerals and things. So we're just going to build that out. And uh, yeah, don't mind the terminology. Whatever, whatever it's called, we don't need to know. That looks pretty good. Let's just throw a roof on it. There we go. That's our roof. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the church is basically complete. Uh, we're just going to add a little tower on top of it. Uh, fill in the insides here and uh, give it some benches and stuff. So here we go. This is where we're going to add our tower because, of course, no church is uh, complete without a tower. So really, it's just... Uh, going to be a nice little square structure on top of this roof so let's clean this up and let's get it at As we're finishing this tower up, we just want to add a nice little cross shape into the sides and uh, fill this in as we go. Uh, well, on second thought, let's um, let's give it some windows. I'd like to be able to see, uh, you know, the vicinity, see what's going on around us. We're gonna, of course, use the walls. Um, for the cross but here with the slabs you know just kind of uh make a shutter type uh type shape and then uh let's just add our cross here all right we're gonna finish up this little tower with some chiseled bricks right in the middle here like this and right on the other side as well not there and here we go and we're gonna take out our slabs put them right here on the sides a little contrast you know and let's move on to the interior here let's just add one bam bam all right I think we're ready for the interior all right so every good interior designer knows that a well-placed door is a must so we're gonna place them there and there and there and also here not there but here and of course no church is complete without a coffin so uh, we're gonna build that here and uh, this is a glitch that I'd encountered as you can tell a uh, bit of an issue with the staircase uh, I have a bucket of water above this stair and for whatever reason that got placed I'm not exactly sure why um, but anyways all right so to build our coffin we're gonna take our slabs set them down like that and we'll take our bed set it right behind it and a set of stairs right there like that and then um, that basically uh, sums up the coffin of course you can sleep in it there's a bit of a vampiric feel to that 
but uh, don't think about that too much. Next up, we're going to place our altar right here, uh, a few steps away. If you kind of think, you know, your typical church will have an altar right in front of the congregation. So we'll set up some slabs right here. And let's go like that, maybe. Maybe two up, you know, small cross type of deal. And let's see, we're going to set down our <laughs> enchantment table. Right in the ground like that. That's not too bad. Um, maybe an ant portal. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. Here. Where is that thing? Right there. Okay, perfect. Let's get that added in. We don't need the bed anymore. So how about that? That's not too bad. You know, you got the little you know, scripture, reading book, and the whatever. Um, we'll take the slabs out. Let's uh, put a set of staircases here. So this would be like if uh, someone in the congregation walked up to it, you know, and knelt down to pray or something. Um, and then back here, we would come in, you know, and, and, and preach. And then uh, here, we're just going to make some benches. And that's a, that's a simple one. Really, we're just going to take uh, take our staircase and uh, set them up in rows like so. And, of course, we're going to follow that, that up with some item frames like this. Now, churches will have uh, a Bible in the back. So we're going to just go ahead and add some frames in the back like that. I think that's a nice touch, actually. And then uh, we'll add some enchanted books to the backs of that uh, to complete the look. All right, we're nearly completed. I'm just going to add these chiseled bricks as a little bit of a pathway up the aisles. And then at the back, we're going to make a nice little um, cross shape with a circle in the middle um, to complete the look and feel of our church. Uh, adding real authenticity here in the entryway as the people come to their congregation. I think it's a real nice touch. Okay, I almost forgot. No church is complete without an organ uh, machine thingy. And we're just going to use a jukebox right there and drop down to and put down a chair right there. So uh, our lovely organ player person can uh, sit down comfortably and uh, play the tunes during our uh, sermons and stuff. There we go. Like that. And that completes the interior. I think that was pretty good. Um Let's add some music and uh, go on to the outside. Now, nothing completes a church built like a nice little graveyard. So I'm going to go ahead and build this here, starting out with a fence. I'm going to speed up the rest of it because uh, I'm sure you can figure this one out. But make sure to use... Uh, all your creative juices when building it.
hey i hope you enjoyed this build and uh make sure to let me know and until next time see ya